Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and on this tutorial we will learn how to terminate Windows processes in Power Automate for desktop. So let's say that at the beginning of the flow or in the end we want to terminate some uh, running process on our computer. So for example, uh, let's say that we want to terminate the Chrome process. How we could do it on Power Automate for desktop? So here on actions, uh, let's search for terminate process. And here we can see an action that allows us to terminate an indicated process. So let's drag this action to our flow. And here we can specify the process to terminate by the process name or the process ID. So let's do it by the process name. And how here we should indicate the process name. So to get it, let's open the task manager. And here on details, we can see so the running process. And here we can see uh, the process name of Chrome. So it's uh, Chrome. So here let's just indicate Chrome without the dot exe. And now uh, let's click on save and we can see that it's still running. So uh, let's run now here our flow by clicking here on this button. And we can see that the Chrome process was terminated. Now, for example, how we could handle the case where we want to terminate multiple processes. We could use a multiple terminate process action but a better way uh, to do it it's for example uh, store the list of process that we want uh, to uh, terminate in a variable and uh, let's name this variable to process to terminate and here uh, let's indicate the process uh, name separated by a comma so for example, Chrome, then a comma. Now let's decay uh, the process name for Edge. So let's get it here. We can see so that here on details that the process name is MS Edge. So let's decay it here. And of course we could get these values from a configuration file. So will be a better way also. So here I'm just showing how we could handle this case in an efficient way. So let's say that we want to terminate these two processes. So now what we could do, we could split uh, this variable uh, by the comma. So let's use here the action split text. And so the text split, it started on our variable. And here, delimiter type, let's select the custom one. And so uh, the delimiter, it's the comma. So we can see here that we'll get a list with uh, these process names separated. So here we can name it this variable to processes list. And now uh, we can create a loop for each item of our list uh, for each process. So the value to iterate will be our list of values. And so here we can name uh, the current item to a process. And now inside of this loop, we will execute uh, this action, but the process name it's located now on our uh, process instance. So this uh, instance will contain the name of the current uh, value of the list being iterated. So uh, let's test to see if it's working well. So here we can see that I have Chrome and Edge running. So uh, let's run now our flow. And now, uh, let's see, and as we can see, the Chrome and Edge processes were terminated. And I hope you liked this tutorial. 
If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you get notified on this tutorial that I'll share on the channel.